Oh, right everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be something different. I don't know how many views this video is going to get because I'm going to focus on Australians and New Zealanders that have made it into the NFL. I've never looked at this before. The only one I knew of was Jared Hayne. And recently I've become aware of a guy who left the AFL, which is not rugby, that's Australian football, um, with concussion issues. So he had to retire from the AFL and he's gone to America on a sports scholarship to study for four years, play for the uni as a punter, a punt specialist. So that is interesting because he was, you know, he's, he's not a star player in the AFL. He's a mediocre player. He would have had a manager, of course, and that manager has most probably got him an opportunity over in America. So that's very interesting. And what I'm going to type into Google right now is Australians and New Zealanders that have played in the NFL. So let's do exactly that. In NFL. Oh, shit. Let's have a look at this. NFL draft. The best chances from down under. We've got a video. Sweet. Well, this is just the guys for this this year's draft. Um, they've already got drafted because today's date is June. Although I don't know if any of them did, except for Jordan Malata or Maliata. Um, he played for the South Sydney Rabbitohs in the NRL here in Australia. He is six foot eight. He is about 150 kilos or 160, and he can probably run under a five second hundred. Uh, sorry, five second forty. So he's very impressive. So it's going to be very interesting to follow his career. He got drafted. But I want to see who else. I want to see if there's any running backs or punt returners or punters or anything. <laughs> Wide receivers. Come on. Give me something. Texas. If it's a three o'clock in the morning Australia time for a, for a game here, we'll get up and... We, we you know, drag ourselves out of bed, <laughs> put our put our Texas t-shirts on, <laughs> and sit in the lounge room. <laughs> oh, sick! We go home after this trip. The last few games, we'll do the same thing. Look at that stadium. Part of our life. For Lily and Stephen Baum, the annual 8,464 mile trip to Austin, Texas, from Sydney, Australia, is the highlight. Who, who's their son? A long journey to watch what they used to be able to see in their own backyard. Texas punter Michael Dixon kicking a ball. Texas punter he Michael always Dixon. Does something with the with the soccer ball because he started off playing soccer first. So he's oh, out in the backyard epic. kicking the soccer ball against the wall against the fence. There I he is. Enjoy sports. I never really thought I was gifted or anything like that. It was just more that I just loved it so much. After mainly focusing on soccer, a new sport caught Dixon's eye. Thanks to his stepfather. He was a big fan of Aussie Rules and he'd watch it on the weekend. And so I wanted to play it because he liked it. He'd sit with me and watch the game and started to understand, I think, a little bit about it. He was quite young and then out of the blue, at the start of the soccer season, he just said, oh, I think I'll play Australian Rules this year. And his mum and I said, what? And I was big down secretly over the moon. We'd go kick the Aussie Rules ball around. We'd have the best time, drive up, the step of the man. for as long as we could. I said, right, we're going to the park and we're going to spend some time on the basics. He just took to it. I don't dream of kicking like he could. Dixon joined a local club when he was nine and went on to have a successful Australian Rules junior career. When that came to an end at age 18, he went looking for his next challenge. Shredded. He started to have a boy once mentioned about it. Um, American football. And I kind of said, well, what do you mean? And he said, oh, you know, there's strumming kids over there, my age, kicking, getting college and kicking football. I said, really? So I did a little bit of quick research. I uh, just happened to find an article on a local boy who just been taken to a college over here at LSU and that named the uh, academy. Hang on. So if the defence doesn't catch the ball on the full, 
do they not get to keep the ball? That's the first time I've seen that. I don't actually know what ha Like, I've never seen the ball hit the ground, basically. And that's why the 40-yard dash is so important, isn't it? Because they think that if you... Well, the 40 yards is the average punt, or the average distance that someone has to cover to reach the punt on the full. And the average hang time for a punt is around four and a half seconds. So as someone in the backfield, a safety or a um, cornerback, I don't even know, um, you know, for them to be able to reach the ball on the full every single time without fail, you need the four and a half second 40. So it all makes sense. It's all, you know, I don't know, I don't know that you'd need a playbook of 200 plays to, to still coach effectively. I mean, how many plays do teams actually practice at training? How many hours of training do teams do? How many nights per week do teams train? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know. What's expected? In March 2015, Dixon moved to Melbourne to train with Pro Kick Australia, his first taste of leaving home. From there, the coaches sent his audition videos to Barry. Pro Kick Australia. What is Pro Kick Australia? Is that an agency or something? Pro Kick Scholarship. So, Pro Kick Australia. Who we are? We are Pro Kick Australians. Pro Kick Australia was developed in 2007 to help guide and transition Australian athletes to perform at the college or NFL level. And with our natural Aussie instinct of kicking a ball, we have focused on that area. Pro Kick Australia is now widely respected in the USA for developing punters and kickers. What about running backs? Nah, no good for me. <laughs> nah, Pro Kick stats. 17 All-Americans. How many, how many people have made the NFL? Oh. 2018 NFL Draft. Ah, oh. He's kicking. Who is it? <laughs> Seattle Seahawks drafted pro kick student, Sydney Cider, and Texas Longhorn, Michael Dixon, in round five. Well, now I can look him up on Wikipedia. Has he got a Wikipedia page yet? <laughs> His life changed? Oh, mate, he's on Wikipedia. He's famous now. Michael Dixon is an Australian professional American football punter for the Seattle Seahawks of the National Football League. He played college football at Texas. Mate, you have just hit the big time. <laughs> Pick number 149, round 5 of the 2018 draft. All right. Well, let's continue watching this now. Home. From there, the coaches sent his audition videos to various schools. We get a phone call saying he might be going to Texas. Is that interested? It's like a bullet. They flew him over. I can't catch that. And he did his <laughs> weekend visit up and back from Australia, which is crazy. And then he rang us and said, they're going to offer me a scholarship. We said, you're taking it. He said, I'm taking it. And that was it. It was quite final when he was coming over, and I still remember him walking up the departures. It was sad, but we were so excited for what would fly ahead. Welcome to the Michael Dixon Show. Little pooch to the left side, winds up being a 37-yard work of art. What a punt by Michael Dixon! What a punt! Michael Dixon for Texas. Oh. Years after first learning how to properly kick in American awesome. football, Dixon is one of the best punters in the nation. In 2016, as a sophomore, he became UT's first ever finalist for the Ray Guy Award and is currently on track to become the most accomplished punter in Texas history. What? I mean, that's something we'd never thought of because it would never be something. That's we'd crazy. Mind at that stage, I was. Obviously, deep down, secret. I'm jealous. <laughs> star, he's living in Australia, but that's okay. <laughs> we can handle this one. <laughs> oh, his dad's loving it. A lot about sport, a lot about everything, and he'd always just tell me like how 
great of a kick I was, or like of a punt, even back then. I always was like, I want to make him proud. I want to show him what I can do. He's got a bit of an American twang. I can hear it. <laughs> All right. Well, they only showed um, they only showed Michael Dixon there. There's a couple more. There's Michael Dixon. He's only 21, but he's six foot four. Or six foot three, sorry. 93 kgs, punter. Um, what does he run? What does he run? <laughs> Do they have it? What did he... Hang on. Oi. Let me see his 40 yard dash. This is going to be funny. 40 yard dash at the combine. Come on. Please. Kickers run the 40 yard dash. Tell me I can see this guy. All right. Of interest from NFL teams to have a player play All right, where is he? Didn't the Jabril Peppers have that last Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oakland Raiders. Jackson. Even no. J.K. Scott. Right, and they bring him. No. For, we're still on. Going in the direction of having. And we're going to make you feel comfortable. These guys aren't that fast, are they? Really. 484. Let's see what this guy does. How tall is he? He looks tall as hell. Whoa, man. Look at this guy. He's lanky as. If you technically, I mean, Josh Lambeau was in camp. So Lambeau and Young Way Koo in camp. How tall is this guy? Yeah, after Koo, it was Novak. After Novak. This is going to look nuts. His arms are fucking long. What are you? Are you, are you a punter's guy? Are you a kicker's guy? Kind of like punter. You know, love the punters. I was going to oh, say. Yeah. I do like the specialists. Well, the mascots, the specialists. Yeah. Kinda, this guy decided he was going to have, have big hang time this year. So that's all he did. Just laid up these monster punts all day long. He'll go, uh, he'll go inside the first four rounds, I think. All right. J.K. Scott will be the last one we cover. Mm. Solid. So like they would do it in fourth round by New England. And New England aims to have Let's a, have a look at this guy. Alternative well, didn't uh, Jabril Peppers have that last year? Correct. They asked He's only five foot nine and a half. So what go. Happens is He's got a nice style. Officially been asked to Just run not, not fast and enough. Lamar Jackson. I flat out tell the NFL I'm a freaking quarterback. <laughs> okay, and I'm a really The legs just flat out aren't going fast enough. Not, not enough rotations. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Remember Rich Gannon? Sure. MVP of the Super Bowl, Oakland Raiders. Ultimate now safety. Big fella. And Rich said, Six oh, foot one and a half. You're now safety. And Rich Six said, foot one and a half, two hundred and thirty pounds. He's 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 pretty big. No, I'm, not. I'm, I'm a quarterback. He didn't report to camp. He forced a trade to Minnesota ultimately became an NFL MVP and my point is Lamar Jackson is not some borderline athlete. He got up to top speed pretty fast but it just didn't continue from there did it? And what I mean as a starting quarterback in the NFL so if I'm hit uh, there's run 40s right now I don't even stop Christian McCaffrey did it okay okay don't worry about McCaffrey. Well, I'm also, uh, it's the league is also going in the direction Six of foot one more and a half a again, or college a quarter. Offense. I mean, we just saw a Philadelphia Eagles team RP 110 their way kilos. To Super Bowl championship with a quarterback that doesn't really have much of a threat to run. And we also saw Phil O'Brien in Houston take a guy like Deshaun Watson and say, Deshaun, we're going to make you feel comfortable, not the other way around. And they built their playbook around All right, guys. Well, philosophy. we're going to look at some more Michael Dixon. I'm going to try and see if um, uh, if I can see something here about Michael Dixon. Some some gameplay. Punter Michael Dixon named MVP of Texas Bowl. Jeez. College football 70 yard punts. Michael Dixon conversation with Phil Dawson. That'd be good. But I don't have time for that. Let's see. Michael Dixon kif kicked off an impressive punt at the Seahawks. Photo, Tim Warner, Getty, former Texas punter Michael Dixon is showing off his skills in Seattle at the Seahawks rookie training camp. The former Texas punter and fifth round 2018 NFL draft pick is continuing to impress what all who are watching this? with his monster punts. Texas fans already know what the Aussie punter brings to the table, and he's now proving it in Seattle. 
As seen in the above video, Dixon who did an impressive punt at the Seahawks rookie training camp, which was met with all of the wows that long fans experienced in 2017. Dixon punted the ball from the 10-yard line, and it looks to have traveled near 80 yards in the air. Michael Dixon punting from his own 10. You tell me where TF that landed. Pick that twitter.com slash Where is it? Jared Stanger at Jared Spence on Academy Michael Dixon, 80 yard punt. <sighs> oh, here we go. Seattle Seahawks rookie punter, Michael Dixon, absolutely launches an 80 yard punt on second day of practice. Boom. Yes, boy. Get in there. Let's see this. All right, so the guy with the white t-shirt is on the 20. That little cart thing is on the 10. He's on the, he's just, be, he's just behind the 10 yard line. And he's over there at practice with all his teammates, everyone standing around watching him punt in awe. I would be too if you just cracked off an 80 yard punt. What a legend. Michael Dixon, I hope that you have just thrust yourself into stardom for the Seattle Seahawks in the NFL. Well done mate. You're only 21. You took a chance, you went to America and it seems as if it's paid off and I commend you for that. I really do. You know, it comes back to the fact that we're all human. You and I, you're 21, I'm 27. I was 21 once, but I didn't believe that I'd be able to do something like that at age 21. So you've done well. Good luck. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, we're going to call it there. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And Mike Dixon, thank you for giving us an awesome video to watch, or for me, an awesome video to watch. <laughs> and also the other 40 yard dashes and the other videos and the scrolling and the, the research and all that stuff. So if you have stuck around, I really do appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you very soon. Peace out.